Hi everyone, Rachel Jensen here, broker owner of Luna Realty Blues on the beautiful island of Ambergris Key. Today we are reporting live from Aruna Resort and Villas located on the west side of the island. We'll put in a map so you have an idea of where we're talking to you from, but it's about a five minute boat ride across the lagoon from the heart of town or about 15 minute drive from Seeker Beach, one of the most popular tourist destinations here on the island. So I am reporting to you from the pier. This is a work in progress. As you've seen from our last videos, there's been a lot that's happened over the last few months. Our primary goal over the next few weeks is to get this area done. The chef is here in town getting the menu all prepared. And at this point, we are just waiting on the rest of the outdoor furniture and the restaurant furniture to arrive. Once they do, then this spot will be open. This spot will be open prior to phase one being open. So if you're here in town, come check out the restaurant when it's open and you can get to see this view for yourself. Now, in addition to that, above us is where the restaurant is going to be. And then above that is that third space for events such as weddings or yoga platform or just space for people to come together and have a really incredible 360 degree view. Now, you're going to see a little bit more on the pier. The restaurant uh, is under construction, just about finishing, really. And then in addition to that, the bathrooms we saw in the last video, the men's and the women's bathrooms were added. It is fully functional at this point. So if you come on a tour that is available for you to use right now, and then the decking has been added as well to the restaurant to add more space for people to dine both indoors and outdoors. So we're going to go take a look at that. Then we're going to take a look at phase one. There has been progress done to the home that is there under construction. It is the Kokora tiny home model. And then there are three more homes that are yet to be finished in phase one. The materials for that just arrived. So we anticipate that to be constructed very quickly. And then getting that first phase, that full first phase open, that consists of 14 units. At this point, only one remains available for ownership. It is a beautiful canal side studio. Then we're going to hop over to phase two. Tons of construction progress happening there. All of those homes are vertical at this point. And you're going to be able to see various points of construction for the property. So you'll see this prefab steel cut construction methodology that we're using from it just laying there on the ground. It's arrived. We call it like Lego pieces. Like you assemble it, then it goes up. So you'll see it sitting there on the ground. Then you're going to see it when the frame is up. Then you're going to see the construction with the walls up, the roof on. So it's really neat progress milestones that you're able to see that are currently in progression. And we'll be able to walk through the three bedroom as well. It's a large, about 2,400 square foot property. It is looking beautiful. If you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more space, this could be a great option for you. But we'll take a look at that. And then in addition to that, uh, we'll be able to highlight where phase three is starting construction in the middle of this year and uh, with sales moving along nicely. So a lot of good things happening here. It's awesome to see the construction team on site. Every time I come over, there's something new that has been done or added or completed. And uh, when you're owning within a pre-construction property, that's always one of the most important things is to see the, the construction progress and milestones occurring. So with that, we're going to take a look around. We'll be here on the site, here the pier, and then we'll go to phase one, phase two, highlight phase three, and then I have some exciting news about phase four. So stay tuned. All right, so we are here within phase one. Just as a reminder, phase one is 14 units. 14, we have 10 right over here, and then four more on this side. The one that's under construction right now, it's a Kokora tiny home. Lots of fun upgrades that have been added. I talked about that in the last video. And then three more homes where the materials have arrived. You can see them behind me, and we will be getting to go vertical on those ASAP so that we can get this first phase open. Now, if you're someone who's thinking about a rental income sooner rather than later, note that phase one would probably be your best bet. We only have one unit available at this point. It is a canal side studio, and it has the overhanging deck right over the canal. You throw your fishing line right in, 
great option going for $239.9. But we'll take a quick swoop around here since I know if you've been following the videos, you've seen this phase quite a bit. And I really want to get to second phase so that you can see what's going on there. So let's get going. All right, everyone behind me is R2. That is the Tacal model, the studio that is available. Just wanted to point it out to you on our walk as we head to phase two. All right, so we are in the Kokora tiny home right now in phase two. There are five tiny homes. They are all sold out at this point. We're gonna show you various points of construction, but in this one, you can see that the walls are done. The first coat of paint is on. And this model here, it's about a thousand square feet. So a larger tiny home, we'll say. But right over here will be the kitchen. Behind me, that is an owner lockout closet. Over here, there's a little workspace and then a large bathroom, washer, dryer area. And then you see the frame for the stairs has just gone up. That's the loft area. When you come in pre-construction, you can decide what you want to do if you want to do any sort of customizations. Uh, there is somebody who has a Kokora home who decided to put a half bath upstairs since right now there's only one downstairs. So that could be an option if you're looking at adding an extra bathroom. But again, coming in pre-construction, you really have that opportunity to do a little bit more of the customization. So we have the kitchen over here, living space in this area, and then the really nice outdoor decking space. And you look right there at the canal. It's a really, really stunning view. And as you can see, this is a shed roof and the ceilings are really quite high and all around you have windows. So you'll have ample light coming into the room. And then with the high ceilings, it just feels like a, a lot of space that you have within this very efficient tiny home. We are here at the Udara model. This is a three bedroom home. And right now we're walking into the primary entry into the kitchen and the living space. This is a huge model. It's about 2,400 square feet when you include the exterior space. But right now living room and the kitchen and then behind me is where the master bedroom, master bath is. And then on that side over there, there's another bathroom and two bedrooms. Now do note that this owner came in pre-construction so she was able to add some customizations that she wanted. So for example, she added a doorway that has an entry into the two bedroom area so it can be considered a lock off if she wanted to rent that out or if she had friends, family coming and they wanted a little bit of privacy. And then in addition to that, there is a standard courtyard that does come as part of the home. Standard will also be an outdoor area over here that has a barbecue area. And then she wanted to do some more customization to it. So she added an outdoor shower and master bedroom, uh, master bath, which we'll see. And in addition to that, she wanted to add a rooftop space. So you'll see stairs that go up to a rooftop space and uh, really just customize it and make it her own. Now do note that with these larger two and three bedroom homes as a standard, they do come with a pool. So a pool will be added. And then there's also a very basic solar system. So it's a hybrid model here. We do have a public electricity. So with the hybrid model, she'll be connected up to the solar during the day, and then at night it'll connect up to the public electricity. So we do know that electricity is, uh, is primarily one of the biggest consumers of electricity is the AC. So being able to mitigate that during the day, that expense during the day, use the solar will be very helpful to, uh, to homeowners. So it's a large space here. I hope you can envision it a little bit. Feel free to reach out to us. We can send you the renderings, the overall plans for this model, pricing, all of that. Just email us info at lunarealtybelize.com info at lunarealtybelize.com, but we wanted to give you an update about what was going on with the models here. Now, I do also want to note, I did mention this in a webinar that we published recently, is that there is going to be a pricing increase for the two and the three bedroom models. Uh, when you compare them to what's on the market today, they are pretty severely underpriced compared to the current market prices. The developer wanted to give folks a chance a month or so to see the properties if they wanted to come down and see it, and then is going to be doing that price increase. So just want to make sure you're notified, you're aware, ahead of time and in the meantime let's take a look around a little bit more to see what you can do use that creativity mind of yours and think think a little bit of what is going to look like again renderings will help you if you do want to see those just email us and with that we'll just take a walk around here All 
right, so I wanted to talk to you about phase four. I was chatting with the developer earlier this morning and he wants to release four lots for folks who are looking to own within Aruna, but aren't necessarily ready to have their home constructed yet. This is a great way for you to secure your spot in here. We do know that Aruna has limited inventory. It's not a huge mega development. It is more of a boutique style. So owning within this development is a great way and owning now is a great way to secure your spot. So if you are interested in that, please do reach out to us. Uh, note that there'll be about $210,000 and uh, a three-year build requirement. Now you will be required to build following the CCNRs of Aruna. So you will have a home that's similar. You can either choose one of the floor plans that already exists or do something a little bit more customized, uh, but something for you to think about if you are looking to hold on to land at this point. Now with that, there's a lot of great activity. We just did a 30 minute webinar covering all the information details in greater depth. So I will add a link to that below if you wanted to catch in and tune into that. Otherwise, I do wanna hear from you if you are interested in this property, info at lunarealtybelize.com. My name is Rachel Jensen and I look forward to seeing you here in Belize. Bye everyone.